Hey, it's Acorn Cinema here, and I have returned from my life of fighting crime to review this game, Heavy Rain. Whoa. Heavy Rain's an interesting beast. It's essentially a modern update it's of what most gamers now. today would Zero probably consider a dead genre or a revived Great genre, the point and click. Obviously, there's no pointing or clicking here. It's more OG Resident Evil tank controls meets Quick Time Fest 2, the quickening, but is ultimately ye old adventure genre. These harken back to Leisure Suit Larry, Monkey Island, King's Quest, and really the original adventure. These kind of games were really a dominating force in the PC market for like 10 years until the shooties started showing up. Truth is, even though many would consider this a dead genre, they would really mean dead hardcore genre since online flash games and casual publishers are cranking out more of these suckers today than they ever did back then. But anyway, that was Sierra. This is now. <laughs> So here's Heavy Rain, kidnapping adventure story where you follow four main characters sort of intertwined through this really, really rainy story. And I don't need to tell you that much more about the story since that's the stuff I don't want to give away, but mm. it's very story-centric. You'll spend most of the game doing quick time events, which normally, uh, quick time events can... But admittedly, the way they use it here is more intuitive than hit A to decapitate Cyclops, so on and so forth. Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! And I'm sure you can tell already right now that if you find this too monotonous, uh, you're not going to get that far. The beginning tutorial, whatever you want to call it, is really dragged the fuck out. I mean, learning how to move your tank controls around and use these quick time events takes way too long. Hey, look, orange juice. I'm in my kitchen. I'm taking a leak. Woohoo. I mean, you spent like, like 45 fucking minutes doing this in like level one. I mean, this, this could have been four minutes, in all honesty. It picks up decently fast after that. The game itself and isn't incredibly long, but uh, a lot of replay value, General things change based on what you do, what your answers works. are. So and, you know, it's interesting. Of your four main characters, anywhere from none to all can die off throughout the course of the game, although if they all die off, you're not going to find out who the killer is. Graphics are kind of a mixed bag. Faces look really good, while like objects and furniture, etc. can look kind of like an up res PS2 game. Walking around can sometimes be, oh, how do you say, way too fucking slow. You want to get, uh, 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 move ya! You're, you're looking for your son, my kingdom for speedy boots. Admittedly, I say that noting that there's an exception in this game where you're walking through a crowd, so you kind of have to go slow. And that's like one of the tensest parts of the game. You're just like looking for your son. You can hit like X to scream. Jason! It's moments like this that really make the game shine. Unfortunately, sometimes I feel like they're few and far between. Other moments that would be noteworthy would be like trying to foil a robbery and doing it different ways, see how it works out, which is cool, but these moments also have, let's say, less than shiny dialogue. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Not to say all the dialogue's bad. It's, you know, it's a mixed bag. There's a lot, so it's not going to be all Oscar-worthy, I'll just say that. Yeah. Although, you know, the, it's very well directed, yeah, very well cut together, you know. Presentation's mostly good. And I gotta hand it to the I Want One Hall of Fame, namely this digital glasses-glove combo. I want one. That's awesome. And sometimes, you know, you'll just like randomly walk into a spot that's supposed to progress you to the next area or part of that area, and you could have just easily not found it. For example, one of the earlier scenes in the game, you're walking around a mall. First time I played it, you know, bam from one area, bam the next area, bam the next area, I was Jason. fine. Then I came back to record footage for the review, and I spent like 45 fucking Jason. minutes walking in circles in the same goddamn opening area, because like, I just didn't happen to walk to the right spot or Jason. whatever. Like, that that's fucking infuriating. Jason. And shit like that, frankly, is why this genre, at least in the more mainstream of the hardcore, Jason, kind of died out a bit. Eh. In it. Ah! On top of which, the tank controls, which don't really always work that well, seem to, like, avoid corners. Because the collision detection sucks my nuts. Dulls nuts. One of the biggest problems for me with this game is that I'd sort of start to get into it, and then, like, shit would just slow down. I don't know. I, I, it's not more complicated than that. I got bored a lot. And then when shit would, like, get stuck somewhere, I would get really bored and stop playing. Not that a fun quick-time eventy chase can't be, you know, entertaining for a minute or two. Oh! Oh! 
shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Oh shit. Get, get, I'm gonna get you. Fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh bitch. I'm gonna get you. Yo, I'm gonna get you. 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 I jumped. I'm gonna get you. 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 I hit left. I hit left. I'm gonna get you. I got you, bitch. I got you. I turn right. I turn right. Oh shit. Produce. Produce. Fuck. Produce. Ah, fuck you, car machine. Tables. I got tables. Fuck you, tables. I turn left. I turn left. Oh no, there's a dual flower. It's like a bad flower. I'm gonna get you, bitch. Oh shit. I'm up. My only weakness. Oh my god, what? No more fish. Oh man, fucking fish. Part of why we played games like this back in the day is simply because we didn't have this back in the day. And hey, I'm nostalgerific and I'm not putting down my 80s roots, but even as an old aged gamer, I recognize that even today's meh titles got explosions. Where old games had walking. And walking. We don't do that shit today, right? Now, since we're looking at modern adventure games, if that's what we want to call this, there's really only two that stand out to me, at least for this, I don't know, console generation. And that would be this and Zack and Wiki. Now, some people are going to say it's hard to compare them because Zack and Wiki is much more traditional point and click, since you kind of literally point and click. But these are the two that I played, so yeah. And even though they're kind of apples and oranges, if I had to pick between the two, I'd still have to go with Zack and Wiki. Mainly because that game never really bored me, and this game... Eh, sorry, I was kind of bored for a lot of it, you know. I mean, it, it, just, it boils down to that. I know it's not very cerebral, but it's a game, right? Now, having said that, I know some people that were never bored at all with this. Played it all the way through multiple times, so it's really going to be up to you. In, in a way, you know, this is my least helpful review for you ever. And if this is a starting point to continue this outside of, like, the casual realm, I'm all for it. Expand the industry, yada, yada, yada. Okay, it's getting to be about that time. Dolly Parton Award. Cause I recognize there's a massive amount of talent here and that garners fully legit fame, respect, and a right to be on stage. But baby, you're just not singing my song. Ah! Thank you.